Hi everybody, my name is Jason LeMay, former hospital corpsman, second class, United States Navy, dive med tech from Black Mountain, North Carolina. Well, I'm a Clemson Tiger because I played football here in 98 to 01. This was uh, the one place I always wanted to play and be a part of, and it is the most amazing family to be a part of because I'm able to come back now and finish my degree and be a student coach and help mentor these young men. In 2008, when the, when the whole world or the whole United States just kind of crashed, I was uh, 27 going on 28. I had to move with my mother. I, uh, I lost my job, couldn't get a job because it was a recession. Um, so I ended up on unemployment. And then I just wanted to get a job. I had a friend, uh, best friend in the world. He said, let's go, uh, let's go join the uh, National Guard. And I said, I need something a little bit more permanent than, than the National Guard and ended up in the Navy. But from there, I uh, became a hospital corpsman. Um, the, uh, the CMC, the head enlisted, was like, you need to go do some good stuff. So I ended up at dive school, about five months into my tour at the hospital. And then from there, I screened to go to uh, Naval Special Warfare Development Group. I did 10 years and I finished up there where you know, I was able to jump out of planes. I was able to um, do a lot of really fun stuff, but also serve with a lot of, of um, amazing human beings. So I was struggling. Um, I was struggling internally. I was struggling with trying to you know, figure out what's going on. Um, I, had a, I tried to commit suicide um, with a gun. And uh, you know, my, my dog saved my life. I know that sounds so, so small, but I love my dog that much. He jumped up on the bed when I had the gun to my chest and um, I put it down. But then after that, I didn't go get help that I needed. And so I, I was drinking a lot and I ended up using drugs and pills to, to try to kill myself. I wasn't partying. I wasn't going out to bars. I was at home doing the wrong thing to fix myself because I thought this would help fix myself. And it didn't. What it did is it made it worse. I tell this to people because I want people to understand that it's okay to not be okay, and it's okay to ask for help. What makes you weak is when you don't ask for the help. Strong people ask for help. When I, when I was about 40, I was, you know, it was time to get out, and so I ended up um, getting out, and then ended up going back to my hometown, and then I wanted to do something more and finish my degree, and I gave Coach Eason a call, which was also my college teammate and same class. And I came down, I got I talked with Coach Sweeney for the first time ever. 20 minutes of conversation, and he said, hey, you know, if you're coming to school, you can come and help out. And, you know, it was amazing because he doesn't owe me any. I didn't play for him. So for him to allow me to come and help out with his team um, was amazing. I had no idea what I was going to be doing. I just came down with the hope and the prayer that this was going to be what it is. And, um, you know, Coach Batson, um, I love that man to death. He, He's been here since I was here back in like 1998. And I just asked him if I could work in the weight room. And I said, I'll clean, I'll clean the equipment, I'll do whatever, can I just be here? And he's like, what you're gonna do is teach him how to lift and spot him. And I was so honored that he, he knows that I know that stuff. And so I was able to come in every morning and do what everyone else was doing and be part of the, the crew that helped get our, our team ready for the season. I know it's Military Appreciation Day, but man, at Clemson, it's, it hits different now, all right? Because this was an all-boy military school, kind of senior day, and then, you know, somebody's got to bring the flag down the hill, all right? In front of the team, in front of me, and, you know, we'll come down, and uh, we always do that. So this year, uh, we'll talk about it as a staff, and we have chosen Jason LeMay to lead our team. I I didn't really know what to think about it. Um, sit in my seat where we all sit in our own seats every day, and I was excited to hear who he was going to tell, you know. And then um, he called my name out, and but not just that, the kind words that he said about me, they were genuine. He really surprised me and the coaching staff. Um, but then, you know, the players, how they reacted, and, and it was amazing. Um, I, I don't know, I wanted to cry, but I just kept it in. Um, you know, I. I still can't believe I get this opportunity to run down that hill again in front with the flag um, after all the things that has gone on in my life. And this is where life kind of started for me. I mean, even though I grew up in Black Mountain, North Carolina, this is where I got to actually grow uh, from a boy to a man. Never been more proud to be not just a Clemson Tiger, but part of our military. When you get to the top of that hill, how do you think that's going to feel? 
I don't want to think about how it's going to feel. I just want it to feel at the moment. Hey, Clemson family. Welcome to Death Valley for military appreciation. I have the honor of running the flag down for our team and for our country. It's an amazing feeling to be able to step out here and represent my country at the school that I started playing football at and I love so much and that I get to come and do coaching and become a better human being to help out others. Looking forward to running down the hill in a couple hours. Go Tigers! You know, this is a true Clemson family. It says it in our, in our building. And I'm the epitome of what a Clemson family is. I, I was gone for so long and they wrapped their hands around me and brought me back in. And there's a reason this place is so special. And there's a reason those of us who have come through and will come through one day, come back. But to be there, to lead our team down, it means more to me than you could imagine because, you know, for Coach Sweeney to allow me to do that, I'm just gonna let that moment be the moment and let it, let it soak in but be thankful that I'm able to do that because I'm representing the guys behind me, the people that I served with, and I represent the people that I served for, which is this country. And, you know, to, to be able to carry that flag, um, I have it tattooed on my chest um, because when you're in the military, that flag is everything to you because when you're outside the wire, you're out in the water, you know, you want to get back to see your flag because our country, um, it's a great country, and to represent it, on a battlefield, in the air, in the water, however you want to look at it. But now I get to represent running down our hill at Clemson, and you know, it's amazing to me. It's, it's just amazing. <laughs>